Hi. Are you the, the, the guy here was telling me that are you the guy that owns this these two? Uh huh. What I, is it okay? If we talked to you. We wanted to do a story about um, you know food vendors at festivals. Okay. So so you own which ones? That one and that one. The snowball experience and the laughing crab. How yep. long how long have you been doing this? We've been doing it fifteen years. Oh wow, wow. And so. Is this your first time doing an event at this location? No. Okay. Um, we did. Um, I have. To, I have to do this one. I got you. I got you. Um, we did the Space Coast Seafood Festival. Okay. Um, I think three years here. Gotcha. But that was before COVID. Um, and then you know with COVID. Right. Um, but um, yeah. And what, so, so you have a good partnership with Space Coast Daily, I guess. Well, there, um, we we have a good relationship with um, people all over the country. Oh, okay, okay, okay. How long have you guys been out here? Three weeks. Three weeks. Wow. Do you guys do you just stay in local hotels here, or? Like... Yeah, I, we are at the um, what went up for three weeks. Okay. I've been back and forth. Right. Um, but we we've, we've had a room over there, at least one room for three weeks. Uh, I think we've spent about twenty five hundred bucks oh, in wow. hotels alone. Alone. How many people do you have that work for you? We have two here. Okay. Plus myself. I'm Just, sorry, I didn't get your name. What was your name? Chuck. 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 Good to meet you. I'm Robert. Okay. okay. All right. So do you guys have any other future events coming up? Um. Yeah, we'll be all over Florida. Okay. Um, we travel all over the country. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, we we literally work all over the country. All right. All right. So who are you uh, with? I'm Robert Burns with the Space Coast Rocket, which is a local media outlet here. So. So do you compete with Space Coast Daily? No, we don't do events or anything like that. No, we just we do we local reporting on the news. Okay. Stuff like that. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, I definitely appreciate your time. No problem. Um, we also, this unit two weeks ago was um, filmed for um, Food Network. Oh, wow. Do you guys, is this your big, huge crab right here? The inflatable crab? Not anymore. Oh, what happened with that? <laughs> um, my wife and I ran the oldest and largest seafood festival in Maryland for 34 years. Oh, wow. And that was our mascot. Gotcha. And um, when we stopped doing, we got too big for the park. And um, I sold it to Giles. Oh, okay. Um, the year before the pandemic, because he used it once. Gotcha. And then um, it's been in storage. But it, it's cool, isn't it? It's yeah. 60 feet wide. That's awesome. All and right. I have no idea where it started, but um, we bought it used. Got you. Well, I appreciate it, and thanks for taking the time to talk to us. No problem. All right. There's Giles Malone riding around on a motorcycle out here. And those are the two things right here, right at the front entrance. Prime real estate. So we're gonna head on out, but that is the guy, as you heard, he's from Maryland, which is where the charges are from. He's been out here for three weeks at Space Coast Daily Park. He mentioned Giles by name. So he's got future events coming up um, throughout Florida. So there you are. People should know who is serving their children right here. Space Coast Daily Park. And there's Giles looking for me right now, probably. So this is Robert Burns with Space Coast Rocket. We're gonna gather the rest of this information and put together a report for you. But yes, registered sex offender working here for the snow, snow cone experience out here by a petting zoo, pony rides, at Space Coast Daily Park. He's not allowed to be within a thousand feet of a park. He's been here for three weeks, he said.
So I'm gonna get out of here before we get trespassed. I'm sure they're looking for me now. Thanks for watching.